hey guys welcome back to another freaking video thanks for tuning in and thank you guys for being here um if you are new to my channel what's up um this is going to be a q and a about me an updated q and a because i've already done one before in like my previous youtubes when i like first started but that was like a whole year ago and things have changed and i'm back at it again with these broken nails so don't mind them so if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button if you haven't seen my videos that i've already posted before go check those out and if you're new to my channel what's up like i already said so if you're interested in this video stay tuned click the bell button so that you'll be notified every time i post a video and uh, yeah let's get into this so yeah All right, so a lot of you guys ask me questions on my Instagram. Um, so I'm just going to go down the list, answer the questions that you guys asked. And if your question wasn't answered, then just comment it below and then I should be able to get to that question as well. Also, these questions are gonna be like all over the place. Like these just questions y'all asked and I just like kind of put them in a concise order. So, so the first question is, what's your favorite food? um my favorite food will have to be like seafood of course like i love seafood and when i can't eat seafood i would have to say like macaroni and cheese mm, i love this macaroni and cheese and some chicken and, and some shrimp that's seafood like stuff like that i love i love so the next question is how do you feel you did at florida relays i feel like i did pretty good at florida relays um I tried my best, ran my hardest in 4x4. I could have did better, but adrenaline will kill you. So I got out super hard in the 4x4 of the first 200 and I completely died. <laughs> but my split wasn't bad. I split like 53, but I know I can do better than that. Someone said, what is your major? So my major in the first semester was undecided. Then I switched to kinesiology. And then for next semester, I'm going to be moving to digital media because I really feel like um, I can take my YouTube channel and videography to another level. Um, and it's something that I actually enjoy to do. I don't I don't wanna say that like I don't enjoy like learning about the body, but I just don't feel like that's where my passion is and what my heart has a desire to do. Someone said, how do you balance um, college with sports? So I am a student athlete. I went to school to do academics and athletics. So they make it pretty easy for you. Um, my academic advisor bases our schedule around our practice times, our class schedule based around our practice times, I mean. And then um, they also provide us with tutors. I've said this before in a couple of my previous videos, but they provide us with tutors, study all hours. So everything fits in and I am on a fixed schedule every single day. So you get kind of used to it. How tall am I? I'm five, three and a half. Five four with shoes on. <laughs> but people think that I'm so much taller, like that don't know me. Like I guess I look tall on Instagram and social media and things like that, but a girl is small. Someone said, How do you know which school is the right fit for you athletic wise? So that goes along with the recruiting process. You um go on visits and you see which school fits you the most so what i look for when i was going to my going on my business and things like that was like a family oriented team um good coaching nice facilities things like that um so i did take a risk coming to kentucky because i didn't come on a visit here didn't know the coaches except for coach Hall because he was at tennessee but i just came here i didn't know what the team was the school anything and everything ended up working up and everything ended up working out perfectly someone asked how much do you weigh i weigh i average 120 pounds but like sometimes i go down to like once 
117, 118 on a good day, like 119, 120. So like it averages to be like 120, nothing like super big or too small. I hope not. Are you gonna be a future athlete at the IAAF Diamond League in the future? You already know that's the main goal. The main goal is to make the Olympics, get some medals, just becomes the most successful I can be at track and field. You dig? Um, someone asked, what is my 300 hurdle time? My fastest time in high school was 40.1, um, but that was in high school. I'm pretty sure if I ran it now in a meet, I would go like 38. Because in practice, I go like 39 low on an indoor track. How do you become such a good runner? Any tips? Um, the tips that I would say um, to become a good runner is to always stay focused, trust your training as always, listen to your coaches and trust the process. Don't always expect like your success to come just overnight. It comes with hard work, dedication, time, patience and everything. Like a lot of people ask like, me what are workouts that I do to become the person that I am like you guys have to understand that just one workout doesn't make you the runner or person that you are that's just like that's just like for me people ask what workout do you do to make you Maasai like I've been running since I was eight years old and all these workouts that I did just one didn't make me the Maasai like so it comes with a process because I always haven't been the Maasai that everyone knows. So just trust in your training, listen to your parents, God, coaches, and everything will be perfect. Someone said, what is your favorite event? My favorite event is um, the 60 hurdles um, the, and the 200. I'm good at the 400 hurdles, unfortunately but those are my favorite races. How did you overcome all the fake love from your former teammates? Waiting for graduation. I was just ready to get out, ready to experience new people, a new team, just a new atmosphere, new everything. So I was just ready to go. Someone asked, what's the worst decision you made over track? Being good at long stuff, like the 400, the 400 hurdles. Like, why can't I be a sprinter? Why can't I be a one-two? Like, why can't I be a sprinter? This 400 stuff is hard. How do you mentally prepare for the 400 hurdles? I mentally prepare for the 400 hurdles by, like I always say, trust my training because I'm Whatever you put in at practice is what you're most likely gonna see in a meet. Track is a type of sport like you get out what you put in. So if I know I had a good hurdle practice that week, then I will expect to see good times for my 400 hurdles that weekend. So stay focused, stay positive, attack the hurdle, accelerate into the hurdle, and you'll be perfect. You'll be, I keep saying perfect, nothing's perfect. You'll be a-okay. Someone asked, what camera do you use for your YouTube? I use my phone, my iPhone X Max. But I actually just ordered a camera, so we'll see how that works. And if I don't like it, then I'm gonna send it back and continue using this phone because it is a clear and bomb, like, hello. How do you keep your form throughout the whole race? That comes with practice as well, because that's something I still need to work on now. Um, I tend to like twist my shoulders when I get tired and like just staying like up and down like this won't reserve as much energy. So it comes with practice, practicing it while you're in practice when you're tired, like telling yourself, like keeping your form like up and down, up and down. Practice, 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 practice. Advice for young track runners who aren't the best. Um, don't worry, you have time. Um, I wasn't always fast. A lot of athletes that I used to run against when I was younger used to completely blow me out. Like, I'm like, I'm working hard. Like, I'm, I'm just like, how are they beating me? But a lot of people, like, I was small, I was younger. A lot of people grew faster, developed quicker than me. So, just over the years, you'll see you will begin to come up as the people who used to beat you 
start to come down. So just keep working hard, stay focused, and your time will come. Someone said, do you like Lexington and do you like college? Yes, I like college and yes, I guess I like Lexington because I mean I basically live here. It's cool. It's like it's not it's not like it's nothing it's not completely nothing to do. But like it's just not DC. But I think like since I have such like an amazing team and I just love my team so much as y'all can tell. They make it so like I'm not thinking about like oh we're here in Kentucky like it's cool. The parties are cool. The team I think the team makes it like the best because that's I don't I think if I had like a team that wasn't like fun or anything if I had like really like weird teammates then I probably wouldn't like it here because I'll always be in my room nothing to do so yeah someone said are you mixed uh, yeah I'm mixed with um Indian and black I need to dye my hair again because I rinsed it out like you see it's like red on this side and like it rinsed out on this side so yeah your girl is mixed with black and Indian and last question is how do you stay motivated i stay motivated um because i i know what i want to be successful in i know the goals that i have set for myself so working towards those goals every day um motivates me to keep going I also am motivated by my team because we all work hard together so i'm like when we're on a relay like i'm gonna kill it for y'all because we all work hard together so i'm gonna show y'all what i put in and also my supporters y'all my supporters keep me motivated because like, i'm like i gotta do it for y'all y'all look up to me so i'm gonna run for y'all and my family as always and god and that's all i got for you guys so if you are, were interested and if you like this video thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you guys for six about about to be 6k yeah i think so about to be 6k that was so quick i'm definitely gonna do a giveaway when i hit 10,000 subscribers and we'll keep moving from there and your girl is 